In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a free alternative to OpenAI's GPT-40 Canvas. GPT-40 Canvas is a great way to create content in a much more collaborative manner with ChatGPT. You can change different aspects, different sections of your content. You can change the reading level of the whole content or a little bit. And you can even add emojis if you want to run a bunch more things. This free version, now I'm running them side by side, you see OpenAI's version of GPT Canvas and this free version work very much the same, except the free version has the same functionalities and even some additional functionalities that make it a really, really useful tool, particularly if you're looking for a free alternative of OpenAI GPT 4.0. Canvas. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set it up, how you can run it, how you can use it, particularly to write really high ranking content for your search engine optimization, getting you more organic traffic to your website, resulting in more sales or leads or whatever the purpose of your website is. And if you want to learn more about AI powered search engine optimization and how to use the latest AI tools and automations to maximize your SEO, I suggest you check out our online community, which is absolutely free called the AI Ranking Free School Community, where there's a bunch of resources and assets for you to use and start learning all things AI powered search engine optimization. Today is all about Open Canvas. Open Canvas is an open source program that you can download in GitHub. And technically, you can download this into your you can download this into your computer and you can run it locally. You will need access to the internet and you will need an API key if you want to run it locally on your computer, meaning that there will be there will be some costs, but they'll be fairly minimal. But they provide this really nice, this deployed free version that you can use. And that's what we're going to mainly explore today. Once you go to opencanvas.langchain.com, and I'll leave a link to everything in the video description below, you'll have to make an account, and once you sign in, it'll look like this. Like I mentioned in this video, it has the same or even more functionalities than GPT-40 Canvas because it's great code, it's great at coding, and it's great at making collaborative content with this AI tool. For this instance, we're gonna write a blog post. Let's say all about how the new AI autonomous agents might affect the workforce. I've got a prompt here that I've already prepared and I'm gonna to go to OpenAI Canvas. Instead of going to Markdown, I'm just gonna write a message right in the middle. Let's take a look at this prompt before we get started so we know what we're writing about. Help me write the blog outline for a blog about how, to, how the workforce might be affected with the release of AI agents like Anthropics Claude, Computer Use, Microsoft Copilot Agents, and Google's AI agent project called Jarvis. That should be coming out soon. I want to touch on the positive and the negatives. Now, I'm going to hit enter and it should create the blog outline of this. And you see that the interface opens up much like OpenAI's GPT Canvas, which is really, really cool. So once I can go through everything and I can change it much like I can with OpenAI Canvas, I can, for example, select this section here and ask Open Canvas about this section. Let's include, let's include, for example, in the introduction on how the workforce has just changed with GPT. We're gonna hit enter and you can see that it's only gonna change that section right there. Again, very much like OpenAI's GPT Canvas. Now, really important, I can go down here at the bottom right corner and I've got some writing tools that are pretty much exactly the same as OpenAI's version. I can translate, it's got a couple of selections here. I can either change the reading level, I can go from PhD to college to teenager to baby and even pirate, which is a nice little funny addition as well. And I can do all the other things like change uh, change the length of this by just making it a little bit longer. For example, once I do that, it should change the outline to make it a little bit longer. But again, this is only the outline of our blog post. Very, very similar, similar functionalities as GPT-40 Canvas. There's one added feature that I really like about this, and that is the custom actions. If I click on new custom actions, uh, let's say the metaphor creator, and we're gonna give it the instruction to make sure to add a metaphor at the end of the sentence to explain our point even better. That's a silly example, but let's say you're always asking GPT Canvas to do a specific thing that isn't in the actions that are pre-built. This is a great way to do that. I'm going to leave it as that, and I'm going to save it. Now, when I go to the custom actions, I'm going to now, when I go to the custom actions, I'm gonna have my metaphor quick action there. 
So I've generated the outline of my blog post, which is really good, but Open Canvas doesn't have access to the internet. Thankfully, we have a really smart free tool that we can use, which is Perplexity. Once you open up Perplexity, you wanna come up with a research, you wanna come up with a research prompt that'll help you get information that you want and you want to integrate into your blog post with Open Canvas. In this instance, let's read the blog, let's read the prompt that I've generated for my blog post. I want to find the latest research about the latest AI autonomous agents like Claude Computer Use, Microsoft Copilot Agents, and Google's soon to be released AI agents called Jarvis. I want to know more about them and how they might affect the workforce. I'm gonna hit enter and let Perplexity do its thing. Remember, I'm using the free version of Perplexity, so these are two completely free tools that are allowing me to create really high quality content as well. With all that here, I'm going to copy the entire thing using the clipboard button at the bottom. Why do I want to do that? Well, by copying the whole thing, at the end you get the citations, meaning that you get the sources of what Perplexity used to give you this information. And we also want to integrate that into our blog post. So with the research done with Perplexity, I'm actually gonna to go to the left-hand side of Open Canvas because I wanted to rewrite the structure again, taking into consideration the research that Perplexity has done for me. I'm gonna paste this prompt here and I'll leave access, then I'll leave it pasted below so you can access that. It says, now taking the following research into consideration about the topic, rewrite the entire structure of the blog post. I still want to keep the same theme and touch on the main topics, but integrate the research to add more value to the reader, which should be always your main goal when you're writing content. Add value to the reader and it will rank. So copying the research from Perplexity with the clipboard button, I'm gonna go back to OpenAI Canvas. I'm gonna just say research here. So it definitely knows that this is the research and I'm gonna hit enter. In a second, it should start rewriting the entire structure of the blog post. Why do I want just the outline first? I think it's good practice. I like to read the structure, therefore I can change it before I really ask it to write the entire thing. So I've got the outline of the blog post. Now I've got one final prompt that will help me write this whole thing in a very particular way. Let's read the prompt. Now I write the entire blog post following the structure we generated. Please ensure to source the links provided in the research as hyperlinks to the corresponding keywords in a natural manner throughout the blog post because we wanna reference where we got the information. This is great for SEO, but this also again adds more value to the reader. I'm gonna hit enter and then see the magic happen. The only thing that I found about Open Canvas is that while it's backlinking to the correct sources, as you can see here, it's not really illustrated well by a little underline and a blue color, but if I paste, but if I copy the whole thing and paste it, I can rest assured that it actually is hyperlinking the keywords to the corresponding link. So I've got my blog post here. It's fairly short and I wanna make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna to go to my writing tools and I'm going to make this the longest as possible. I've got the majority of my blog post written. If I go up to the top, I can copy to my clipboard the entire thing. And I wanna do this because I wanna show you that it is in fact making sure that everything is backlinked. See, if we paste it, it's, you can see that it's in a markdown format and you see that it's linking to the correct sources. And if I show you in a preview, in a markdown preview, I can see here that it's linking to the right sources. If I click on that link, it's gonna take me to it's gonna take me to the corresponding link that's provided within the research from Perplexity, which is good. I just need to help it and give it the research, which is fine. So let's try our let's try our quick actions here. I'm gonna go into this section here and I'm going to add a metaphor and see what happens. And the metaphor is at the end and we see in essence, the integration of AI agents into the workforce is akin to planting a garden where each AI tool serves as a seed. <laughs> Naturing the soil of productivity and innovation as these seeds grow, they yield bountiful harvest and efficiency and insight transforming the landscape of work into a flourishing ecosystem. Very wordy metaphor, but I can change that if I want to. Now, there is a bit of a word limit using the free version with opencanvas.langchain. So if you want to expand the word limit, let's say, you can always download this and install this into your system, running it as they have instructed us to do so by running it in our local system. If you want a whole tutorial on how to do that, how to use this whole thing 
in your local device, obviously using your API keys. Just leave it in the comments below. But with that, in a matter of minutes, I've been able to use Open Canvas to write a really high quality research blog post. There's another section here that I really think you're going to like and you really should know. If I click the little brain button here, this is the reflection. So as we are writing and as we are using Open Canvas, it's remembering our style, what we like and what we prefer. And so what we do, what we know, how we prefer to write. So the more you use it, the better it gets. I can also clear all the reflections and start again. I really like this. Let's say we want to start another blog post as well. Let's say we want to start another blog post. I'm going to go to new chat here and I can code a new file as well. Just so you know as well, when you code a file, so let's say uh, write me a to-do app in React, it's going to start coding and the quick actions at the bottom right are going to change to represent coding quick actions, which makes sense. Again, it's very much like OpenAI's Open Canvas. I'm going to go to here and you can see that I can fix the bugs. I can uh, translate it or port it to a new language, this application here. Uh, I can add comments and I can make it a little bit larger. I think, what did I do? Add logs as well. So very useful tool. Again, like Open AI Canvas, you can't preview the code itself in another module. If you wanna do that, you use tools like Bolt or Claude, which has that functionality, but still a really cool tool, especially considering it's open source. And if you're using opencanvas.langchain.com, it is completely free. I don't know how much longer it's going to be free for because somebody has to be paying the API bill for this. But while it's free, I wanted to bring it to your attention and I think it's a really, really good tool. Again, if you want to keep up to date on how to learn how to use all of these tools for your search engine optimization and marketing with, these, with tools like this and automations, come check out our community. It's a lot of fun. You're gonna find a lot of interesting and useful things there. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.